I'm Jenna with Stalls TV, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a split text, or also known as a checkerboard effect, with a simple text in CADWorks Live. So CADWorks Live is a free online design software that we offer to our Stalls customers. So let's hop over to the screen and show you how it works. So here I have CADWorks Live brought up. We are in the design software side of everything. Uh, and this is where all your clip art, your text, all of the designs you've created before are housed. So you can see that I have brought up on the screen the split text effect that we are going to be recreating so that you know exactly how you can offer this and really take your designs to the next level, especially with just standard text. All right, so I'm going to move this over to the side so that we have something to base it off of. So the first step in creating this design is adding our text. So we're gonna go up to the tab up there in the top left-hand corner and click that Add Text button. And our text box is going to pop up. So the first line is typing in the desired word. All right, so we're gonna be doing the Oxford text that is the mascot or high school that we are decorating for. And then we're gonna go in and select our font, All right? So CAD, uh, CADWorks Live offers a lot of different fonts for you. You can see we have up to 13 pages here, All right? So the font that I'm using is something very simple to work with. It's the Athletic 5 option at the on the first page, fourth one in, All right? So I'm gonna double click that and it's going to change that over for me. All right, so I don't need to do anything else in here unless it's a spacing thing where I want to add more space in between each letter, then I have the option to do that. But we're gonna keep everything as is, all right? So I'm gonna drop that back down and then click OK, and it'll generate on my screen here for me. All right, so I am going to increase the size of this and I'm going to make each letter a little bit taller so that whenever it's applied onto my shirt, it's not just two inches in height. All right, because whenever we drop this size down, it's gonna size to fit a t-shirt and we want our text to show up a little bit larger than that. All right, so I'm gonna drop this down even more so. And now I'm at where I wanna be as far as the text um, dimensions go. So the next step is going to be adding clip art, which is the second tab on the left hand corner of that menu. All right, so I'm going to go to add clip art. And we're going to find a horizontal line because that is going to be used to split that text apart so that we are able to change them out and use different media essentially is what we're aiming to do here. So in the search bar, I'm going to type line and a um, variety of horizontals or things just going across are going to pop up. So I always go to this horizontal option. It's a thin line. I just need one for this. So that's the one I'm gonna use. So I just double click that and it'll generate up into my designer. And I'm gonna select that line by just hovering over. And I do want to size this differently. I want it to be a little bit longer so that it's fitting the size of my text. And I don't wanna go any thicker than that because as you can see from the example up here, we want these to directly be able to touch each other, right? Whenever we're layering this down later with the media we're cutting out using this design. Okay, so I am going to change the line color all right, so we're gonna make that red just so that I know that um, my line is on top of my text. So that's a key thing you wanna take into consideration here is making sure the line is right directly on top of your text. Now what I wanna do is make sure the line is center of my text, all right, in the middle, all right? So we're going to go to a line and center middle, right? And it's gonna position everything where it needs to be in order for it to be um, equally half, right? So that they're the same dimension on the top and the bottom. All right, so everything's still uh, highlighted and selected here. So my next step is to go to shaping and use the back minus front, right? This option is going to punch that line through my text and create a void area, right? So you can see when I move this line there is a void area in each letter. 
Okay, so this is where that split text effect is really gonna come into play. So our first step is to break all of these apart. And typically that is known as ungrouping, but in CADWorks Live, it is break apart by regions, right? Make sure you're doing break apart by regions and not break apart by curves, all right? We still wanna do regions here because we're just ungrouping, not taking everything completely apart. So break apart by regions is going to ungroup that for me. All right, and now I wanna make sure that these aren't individual. So now I'm going to group the top portion and the bottom portion so those sections are reading as one. All right, so I'm gonna highlight the top part of my text by going to shaping and condense. All right, condense is gonna bring those all together. So I'm gonna do the same thing with the bottom part of my text. All right, shaping and condense, okay. So now we're going to get this checkerboard effect. So this is one option. You can just keep it this way if you want to and just change, uh, change out the colors this way if that is how you wanna do your split text. This is another common way this is done. But if you want to create this checkerboard effect, we're gonna utilize this line again, all right? And we're gonna bring that up and do the same process we did earlier by punching it through. All right, so this time, my line doesn't need to be on top of my text. It actually needs to be behind it. So I'm going to right click that and click to back. All right, so it's behind everything as of now. Now I wanna create a larger rectangle with this. So I'm gonna drag this up and get it to the, about the size of the bottom of my text, all right? The height is what we're looking for, all right? A little bit larger than that so that the weeding process is fairly easy, All right? At that point, I'm just going to position the rectangle so that it is close to the top of the bottom portion of my text. And now I'm gonna drag in and position this so that that rectangle isn't extremely larger than the top part of my design. All right, so now I wanna hover and make sure I am center. All right, so instead of doing center middle, I'm gonna just do center. All right, make sure we have the same width on each end here. All right, now I'm going to do the back minus front option. So the same thing we did with the line, we're gonna do with the bottom portion of my text and this rectangle. So we're gonna to go to shaping, back minus front, and that text is gonna punch through my rectangle. Okay, now I can remove this text and delete that using the delete button on my keypad. And now I can just drop this down to meet that bottom line. And that is how you create the checkerboard effect. All right, at this point, it's up to you what colors you want, depending on the school you're decorating for, obviously is gonna play a a big role there. And then I just keep the um, custom word or personalization at the bottom um, as is because this is gonna be a lot easier to edit. So if I'm doing more than just one sport for this school, Oxford, I can easily change out the bottom but keep this as is so I don't have to just keep repeating. All right, so I'm going to, as you can see, whenever I did the back minus front option and changed the line color, a black outline, very thin, very small, uh, that's essentially your cut line that you're seeing there. Uh, if I want to be able to show this to a customer and I don't want that line to be there, so it looks a little more um, original to what you're going to be putting on the shirt, you can remove that line by dropping down that transparency, right? And then at this point, all I have to do is add my custom text down at the bottom for the specific sport or high school that you are decorating for. All right, and that completes the split text tutorial. For more information, visit stalls.com and subscribe to our Stalls TV YouTube channel.